So like everyone, like like we know heavy snipers are inconvenient and not very competitive. Getting hit for 150 in the body or in the feet is is a is is a frustrating experience. Getting double heavy sniped is frustrating. Uh, getting minigun spammed. Um, when the server is laggy and the bullets are going through your wall, your turbo builds, every other bullet is hitting you in the face. It's frustrating and not competitive. Yet those things are in the game and they're abundant and they're easy to find. But God forbid, you know, the helicopters that would not be a problem to being competitive are not for some reason. You know, I'm not saying that you put helicopters in, in competitive. What I'm saying is like, if you're going to do this thing where, you know, you're keeping some guns out of competitive and you're in, and, and some aspects of the game, like Deadpool wasn't in competitive for a week or two, like you're, they're trying to take that approach. But if you're going to do that, just go all in, like just go all in and, and like actually create a balanced competitive loot pool that makes sense. Like don't even talk to me, bring in a bunch of pro players from every region, right? NA, EU, Australia, Oceania, um, like wherever, every region, like just have some representation of every reason, region, and just like kind of talk with them, right? Have have that line of communication with like your top players, your top pro players. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about like actual pro players, right? Create a dialogue discussion, create a discord where they can kind of just give some feedback and don't just, I'm not saying take their feedback and, and implement everything they say, because a lot of times most of the pro players are kids and they don't understand, um, they're just good at Fortnite, but that doesn't mean that they're good at balancing Fortnite. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they might have some insight as to what the com competitive community is feeling as a whole. And one thing that I feel like, I know I'm talking a lot, but if, like, if you guys, if you guys are fine, I'm just gonna keep talking. One thing that I feel like is kind of important that I feel like Epic fails at times or a lot is just the, listen, just the attitude of the competitive and casual community, just the attitude that they have heavily affects the attitude of a lot of people, right? So the way you go about things, the way Epic, you know, interacts with the community can very heavily influence how the community reacts and receives new content or information, okay? There's been too many times where things are contradicting. Epic tells us one thing, but they do a different thing. Or they just don't say anything and they do something, right? If you if you if you give off the impression that you care, and I'm not saying they don't care, I know they care, but if you if you make an effort to give off the impression that you care, it goes a long way for everybody. If Epic made a post and they're like, hey guys, you know. We're really sorry about the server performance lately. Um, and you know, we weren't ready for this influx of, of, of players. And as, as a result, it's affected also the competitive tournaments. Um, and I know we said that we didn't want to put tournaments in um, before we fixed our server issue. But we really felt like you guys have been waiting a long time. Um, so we're doing these daily cash cups. Um, and even if it's not in the most optimal uh, server situation, um, we're doing this just to give you guys something to play for, to look forward to. Dude, if they did that, like, dude, people would be like, oh, we understand. Thank you. But then, but, but no, but they don't do it like that. They say, hey guys, we're not going to do a tournament uh, until we fix our servers. You get me excited. You get other people excited. They're like, oh, they're fixing the servers. This is great news. I, I, the servers have been running really bad. I'm, I'm excited for, you know, I'll be patient. I'll wait for the tournaments next week. Hey guys, daily tournaments, weekly FNCS, weekly cash cups. Everything's coming in. There's a tournament every single day, three times a day. Oh yeah, the servers, we didn't do anything about it. They're actually worse now. Like, so just the way you you communicate, you could very easily like lessen the blow and frustration that both pro players and streamers and their communities experience, you know, the game.